click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a definition of discrete time Fourier transform. Now why DTFT is it necessary to study or why it is given in syllabus and what is the definition we will see one by one. DTFT. DTFT stands for discrete time Fourier transform. Now this DTFT we are going to study only to analyze any discrete time system into Fourier domain which means if you want to analyze what is the frequency or amplitude of main signal and a relative signal basically we used DTFT to analyze a discrete time signal or discrete time sequence. Now what do you mean by analyze? Basically DTFT we analyze which means we are going to study the amplitude as well as the phases of current sequence and relative sequences. Basically why we are going to study a DTFT and why it is necessary to study a DTFT and why it is given in syllabus. We will see one by one or we will solve all the questions one by one. A DTFT that is a discrete time Fourier transform. Basically DTFT is used to convert any discrete time sequence into Fourier domain that is why we convert discrete time sequence into Fourier domain because we are going to analyze the amplitude and the phases of relative signals. Now how to analyze amplitude and the phase of given signal? We have to study the definition first then you will get the idea how to analyze it. Discrete time Fourier transform of x of n is nothing but it is the periodic signal as well as it is having a finite energy. If it satisfies both the values then we can easily obtain the DTFT of given sequence and it is represented by DTFT of x of n is represented by x of omega and it is given by summation n value varies from minus infinity to infinity x of n e to the power minus j omega n. Now when we solve this whole equation after substituting the value of x of n then you will get the answer in DTFT but after that if we take e to the powers value common from the equation then you will get the two results. The first result is having a magnitude and the second part is nothing but it will give us a phase of the given sequence. Now we will solve a different numericals based on DTFT and then you will get the idea how to obtain a magnitude and the phase of given sequence. Now we will study inverse DTFT formula. Inverse DTFT means what? We can regenerate or reconstruct our original sequence x of n. We can regenerate and reconstruct our original time sequence x of n by x of n is equals to here we can take summation or else basically the in standard definition we used most of the time we use this formula because we want to convert a frequency domain signal into a discrete domain. Now this is all about the definition of discrete time Fourier transform. Now we will study a numericals related to DTFT but in next video. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.